What's up guys, Demon or 1, 2, and 2, and it's mail day! This is the first official mail day. Um, I got some stuff in my P.O. box, oh, in, uh, the Fermander. So I'm actually really excited to do this because not only is this, like, my first official mail day video, it does kind of help get the message out there that I do have a P.O. box, and if you guys want to send me fan mail, you can absolutely do that. Now, this first one is actually not uh, a fan letter. It's actually a card that I bought on eBay, but I wanted to open it on camera anyway because I only have the one letter so far because, you know, like I said, yeah, I don't think the message is quite out there yet because I, I think I announced it in like a video that I had one, but I'm not going to... I didn't actually have a real video. So, down in the comments below, there is going to be my, my P.O. box. Remember, if you want me to sign cards, send me a stamped envelope with your... Uh, address already written on it inside the one you're sending to me so that I don't have a chance of screwing it up because I will send your stuff to the wrong place. I swear to God I will. All right, the card that I got is my Chimera Tech Mega Fleet Dragon. This was actually something I'm testing out in my spirals, running three copies of Cyber Dragon as a way to help remove things from the board so that I can play into a board because uh, the thing with like a Gamma Cell or something is when you open the Gamma Cell, um, you really don't and your opponent doesn't have a monster that you really want a Gamma Cell, it's just kind of dead in your hand. But opening a Cyber Dragon, however, it's at worst just another monster to use for link spamming. So, because you can just summon it and use it, you don't need to go into the Mega Fleet. But if your opponent does have an extra deck monster, you can get rid of it with the Mega Fleet Dragon, because it's uh, kind of like a modern day Chimera Tech Fortress. It's actually even, uh, even it looks like Chimera Tech Fortress. So it's just something I've been noodling, trying out, and it's actually kind of working out kind of cool. Now, the next... Now this is an actual fan letter, that's not blood, it's actually, uh, uh, if you can see it, it's it's a wax seal, like I can't believe, uh, yeah, somebody actually did that. I'm not going to show the address on camera, and if I do accidentally show the address on camera, I will blur it out. This is from a one Chris, who lives in Manhattan here. He could have walked this over to Queens. He didn't need to mail it to me. <laughs> it was actually, the funny thing about that, it was, it was actually farther, this, tra this, this note, this letter traveled farther from his place to my P.O. box than it would to actually come here for me to film it. Because I actually, my, my P.O. box is out, out where I work, not near, not near my house. So I can grab it during lunch. So, uh, it actually overshot my apartment. That's kind of funny. Alright. So yeah, uh, this is, uh, you know, I don't want to show his address, but yeah, see? Look at that. Ah, oh, perfect. First out of the gate. I have this on manual focus, so it doesn't, like, autofocus all the time, but that also means, um... Half the time you're looking at a blurry image of this, so that's why I'm going to put it on the, the, the mark, the whatever you call this other thing. So I don't know if I can read this on camera or not. Alright, so he's got some cards in here. I'm assuming I'm signing these in. Let's read this semen demon. Um, is there any... Is this backwards? I feel like this is backwards. It is backwards. Haha! <laughs> Alright, uh, hey Dave Neymar, I've always been a big fan of your channel, you have a really relatable personality, you make the best deck profiles and the funniest videos, well, thank you man, I have been loving the Duelist of the Roses live streams, I hope you keep them up, uh, yeah, actually Ryan and I are going to take a break from Duelist of the Roses and probably switch games, cause just so we don't get fatigued with it, but yeah, we are going to, we are going to beat the game, um, uh, I think what I might have Ryan do is a little off-screen grinding because we keep getting stuck on people, which is just really, really super boring to watch us play the same duel like five episodes in a row. So I might have him grind to get some good cards. Um... In honor of your channel, a quick story. After years of going to locals, I won my first game, not a match, still lost the match, when I took my pure Ojama deck to regionals during a Monarch Cosmo format. Alright, yeah, I like that. I actually like that format. Once I blocked off all of his zones, he couldn't attempt to tribute any of my king, uh, my king or my knight. I'm assuming this because they can't be tributed. I could never beat Cosmos because I couldn't block off their five, fifth zone because they kept uh, chain summoning to that only, yeah, because because they only really need one zone because you can just play tin can and keep swapping for a ship. Um, anyway, could you sign my cards I use to troll the meta? Absolutely, buddy. Uh, I can send my originals uh, I can't send my originals or my fusions because my mail gets lost a lot and I really don't want to lose them. Thanks, you're awesome. Sincerely, Chris. Thank you, Chris. This was actually a really, really fun letter uh, and a really, really nice letter. Thank you for the for the wax seal. How bougie of you. But uh, let's check out your cards here. Um, it was actually really nice of you. That was a really cool, like, pile of letters. Technically... Predator Magnus sent me the first letter, but it was really addressed to Ryan, so it doesn't count. <laughs> he pretty much just... <laughs> he just 
<laughs> called me a scrub and said send this crap to Ryan. It was funny. It, it was very it was very much him. All right, so we got Ojama Blue. This is the OTS reprint, isn't it? Yeah, because um, I think that the hollow is like worth a lot of money. Ojama Black, Ojama Yellow, and Ojama Green. Yeah, I'll get these Ojamas, the Barack Ojamas. I'll get these. <laughs> get these signed and i will send them straight back to you so anyway guys that was my first ever mail day i hope i actually get to do this more often obviously i can only do it if you guys send me stuff so please send me your fan mail and stuff like that it's it's really really cool to open and it actually kind of it really kind of does definitely keep the the fervor and drive to do the game and the channel keep going it definitely makes me you know it, it really it it's nice to hear your work. I can really do, I really can tell why Yugi Nono does this as much as he does because it really is really nice to hear from you guys. Cause like, cause you know, obviously you guys are subscribed to me so you like what I do, but hearing it from a little more personal touch, just, it just, it really means a lot to me. So thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you, Chris, for sending me that really awesome letter. And I really hope to hear from more of you guys. And remember guys, if you don't troll the meta who will, I will see you guys next time. Make sure you get that, that PO box number down in the description below. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my totally rad dueling. Watching more of these videos is almost as fine as Taya's ass? What? I'm not saying that. Fine. Then it's time to duel.